First Alert Weather with forecaster Steve Gannon. Check this picture of Redfish Lake. Doesn't that look like an Ansel Adams black and white? It really is in color, but doesn't that just uh, show you the winter? And it's not quite winter in the Marsh Valley area, although there's some shower activity over the, high, or the uh, highlands east of the city. Now, speaking of Pocatello, we don't have a lot of shower activity at this moment. We still have a lot of mild temperatures, though. 45 at this hour. The normal high should be 33, and wind speeds not a factor, nor do we expect them to be one. Showers, on the other hand, we're expecting a little bit uh, more, oh, what should we say, enthusiasm. They're moving into the Treasure Valley at this hour and will continue to move across the state tonight. In fact, we'll put our satellite radar depiction into motion, show you that, yeah, here it comes. Here's that big band of moisture that's causing great drought relief in California, but some problems with mudslides and flooding and this sort of thing. Now, tonight we'll see the showers start in the valley, and then again tomorrow morning, just about the time we get ready to go to work, so watch out for that. Now, in the higher elevations, of course, it'll be snow shower activity, and through most of the day tomorrow, we'll have off-on valley showers, but snow, the snow level's fluctuating between 6,500 and 7,000 feet. We'll go through Thursday afternoon into Friday morning, still the higher elevations with a shower or two. By Friday afternoon, the showers are pretty well gone, and while the clouds linger by Friday night, most of the shower activity has gone. So, tonight, we're looking at overnight lows from 22 at Salmon, 28 in Chalice, 28 in Arco, 33 in Rigby. Idaho Falls, uh, right about freezing, so is Rexburg and St. Anthony. We've got mid to upper 30s in the southern portion of the Snake River Plain, right at freezing in Lava, a little bit warmer in Preston, a little bit cooler in Pinedale. And then tomorrow, Pinedale with a high of 38 degrees. Remember, the normal high for Rexburg is 31. Not tomorrow. We got highs in Rexburg tomorrow in the mid 40s. Idaho Falls, 46. Blackfoot, 47. Pocatello, 48. Rexburg, 44 degrees. Even West Yellowstone and Island Park are above freezing. Salmon, the exception. Another day of temperature inversions in the Lemhi Valley. What about that long range outlook? Ah, it's dandy. We've got temperatures ranging in the 40s across the board for the southern Snake River Plains, and about the best chance of showers after tomorrow will again be on Monday when the next Pacific disturbance rolls in. Blackfoot, daytime highs in the 40s across the board. Overnight lows are close to what daytime highs should be this time of year. 29 is a little cool. That's for Sunday night in Blackfoot, but not much shower activity. The upper valley stands to pick up a little bit more shower activity. Most of the southern Snake River Plains will see the showers gone by Tuesday. Upper valley, not so much, but Idaho Falls highs in the 40s. Rexburg will get a little closer to seasonal normal. We'll see some 30s for highs in the upper valley Sunday through next Wednesday with that threat of Monday and Tuesday showers as well as showers tomorrow. Overnight lows in the teens and the higher elevations of the Central Mountains and a bit better chance of showers in the Central Mountains for the next eight days, as well as in the high country in and around the national parks, Jackson, West Yellowstone, Island Park.